It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the boys in the silver and black. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Southern Nevada and Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football. And you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another. And I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other, they study each other, they work together in the off seasons. A lot of times they're friends. But come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win. But when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this offseason. We are ready, and so is Brandon Aubrey to kick this one off. And off we go from Vegas. Here comes Amir Abdullah on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Raiders offense set to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by their quarterback, drafted back in 2019 out of Washington State. It's Gardner Minshew. Don't let this guy's laid-back personality fool you, Mike. He is a tremendous presence to have in your quarterback room. Not only does he have the ability to manage the game at a high level, but your team has a legitimate chance to beat anyone in the league whenever he's under center. Now, I don't know if I'd classify him as a long-term solution, but he's certainly someone every franchise they would love to have. And a nice run to start out. Six yards on the first play of the game. Play action now with Minshew. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game, Mike. We just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often. And when you're one of the go-to guys on your team, I know the hit's coming. But guess what? It feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air, and we're going to have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. going backwards good coverage there to make sure he did not get free Cowboys coming out as usual it's Dak Prescott leading the way led the NFL in touchdown passes Greg a season ago already his ninth year at the helm for the Cowboys there's just certain guys Mike when they take the field and they step into the huddle the other 10 players they just take a little bit of a deeper breath they're like man I'm glad this guy is on our side, and he's certainly one of them. He just brings an element of confidence to everybody else around him, not only in the huddle, but on the sideline, on the defense, the coaching staff. Everyone is better as a result of him being your quarterback. And he's going to have this one up near the 28. The drive starts with a run, and it's Elliott, and he finds a little bit of space. 
He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Second and 11. In motion, Lamb. On second down, it's Dak. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. you got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive, and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Give him 11 on the scramble and give them a new set of downs. This just kills you as a defensive coordinator. Here you are thinking you're going to get a three and out, get off the field, pick up some momentum for your team, and you allow the quarterback to get loose with his legs, and he's able to pick up just enough on third down to convert, and now you got to go back out and defend a fresh set of downs. A short throw, caught by Ferguson. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up manageable second down. Second and seven. Prescott now. To the left side, caught by Lamb. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. Now a third and two. Hand off here to Zeke. Good work on the ground. He's got it. First down. Up at about the 42. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. First and ten. Dad to fire here, complete to Cooks. The timing of these RPO concepts, that's the entire key. Remember, Mike, different than the college game, these offensive linemen, they're blocking for the run. But if that ball gets pulled, the pass option of the play, they're not allowed downfield. In the college game, they get a three-yard window that they're allowed to be downfield even on a forward pass. That's not the rule in the NFL. These decisions have to be made quickly. If not, even after a good pickup, you could be coming back due to a flag. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive. But now as they approach midfield, Continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And a nice game there on first down. He takes it forward for eight yards. Come to the line now on second and two. They'll stick with Elliott. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. It's a pickup of 12. First down, Cowboys. Let's give some love to the big guys up front here, Mike. The offensive line is looking good here early to start the game. Couple nice big explosive runs. Expect them to continue to lean on the big guys up front as the rest of this game unfolds. Prescott on first down. This pass right side taken in by Cooks. He's taken down just shy of the 10. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. They've been in complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the defense react. The defense has had no answers up until this point. 
And now the next step is, can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, after this long drive, would be a bit of a letdown. Second down, Prescott. Under pressure, and down he goes. They've got him back at the 10. That last sack is exactly why defensive coaches preach over and over. Just play the next down. Just continue to make them snap the ball again. You're one big defensive play from changing everything about this drive. And what once looked like a promising drive, following that sack, looks a little bit different now. Third down, Prescott. He's got it at the three. And he's in. Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown, Dallas. The quarterback with all of his eligible receivers available uses the back out of the backfield that time, Greg, to take it to the end zone. And when your running back, Mike, is a valid threat in the passing game, man, it just gives you so many options. And in this case, it was the running back that was the open target. He's able to put the pass on the money. Easy six points. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Cowboys will take a 7-0 lead. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. On the return, it is Trey Tucker. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Raiders offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. Here's first and ten. They'll start on the ground, and here's Madison. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. Great job by the defense here, quickly realizing that this was going to be a draw. They're not caught off guard thinking that they're defending the pass. They're able to not only get in there for a stop, but they're able to take him down in the backfield for a loss. Off the play fake, it's Minshew. Finding his tight end there. We'll get about six before he's taken down. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game, and you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice gain to his tight end. Third and six. From the gun, here's Minshew. And this ball incomplete on third down. Well, I think it would be a bit of an understatement, Mike, to say that this offense has come out today a bit flat. They haven't picked up a single first down through the first two drives. And barring a really aggressive decision here, they'll have to wait to their third series to see if they can make it happen. coverage there. Met and dropped before he can get a return going. The Cowboys offense ready for their second possession. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10.
to start this on the ground with Elliott. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down. He gets it up past the 30 to the 32. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. We are through one. It's the Cowboys with the early edge. And we're back in Vegas after this. A first down throw for Prescott. Open man, that's the veteran Cooks. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Second and a yard. To the right, here's Elliott. And he'll get a couple of yards, and that's good enough for the first down. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. So they come to the line for first down and 10. From the shotgun, it's Dak. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. He'll try again here, second and ten. A shotgun snap for Prescott. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. Here's a third and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Dak. He'll try to run for it. Give him 11 on the scramble and give them a new set of downs. And that just can't happen. Third and long, just understand, contain the ball, rally tackle, just get the ball carrier on the ground. Not only not able to get to him inside the pocket, he's able to extend the play with his legs and pick up a huge, long first down. He managed to get two, maybe three on that carry. It is Max Crosby there to wrap him up. Now a second down throw for Prescott. That one downfield for Cooks. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. Prescott from the gun on third down. And great determination as he gets forward and picks up the first down. Well, it wasn't the most exciting throw of the day, but I want you to watch, Mike, is the suddenness of the route runner. Change of speed, change of direction. Those are the qualities of great route runners, and this guy's certainly one of them. Play action now. Prescott. His fullback releasing, and he's going to bring it in. 
Well, not exactly a highlight real type play, but in some cases, just checking the ball down to your fullback, picking up some positive yards is the only play that's to be made. They'll play action. It's Prescott. That is brought in at the 10. And he is going to be out of bounds. That is a gain of 22. And it sets up first down and goal. One of the things that makes him one of the best receivers in the NFL, Mike, is his ability to create separation downfield. He makes it so easy for his quarterback to not only find him, but to constantly create a nice throwing window like he did right there. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times, and then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard? Now, for him individually, not ideal, but right now they're on the doorstep of the end zone, and they got to find a way to put that ball across the goal line. And that one's incomplete, but a late flag comes in. Looked like he might have gotten there early. So that pass interference in the end zone puts the pressure on the defense. It is first and goal from the one. They'll run. Here's Elliott. He slams it in there, and he is in. Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown, Cowboys. That's his second touchdown so far here in the first half. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finish it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return here comes Tucker and they'll bring him down just shy of the 30 yard line the Vegas offense ready to get rolling again they're staring at a two touchdown deficit 14 nothing the score as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and 10 game Mike we just haven't seen a lot of fire out of this offense here's another run simple handoff no game on second down here's Minshew he's got his man Devontae Adams and he'll be tackled up around the 45 yard line First down grab in the first of the game for Adams. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. On first down, a run with Madison. He'll be stopped after a pickup of about three. The veteran Eric Hendricks on the stop. Again, it's Madison. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but 
Probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part coming through again with another big stop for a loss. On the draw, here's Madison. And it looks like he's got it off for the first down. Let's wait for the mark. Yes, that run, that's enough to move the chain. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. you got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Throwing on first and ten, it's Minshew. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down. He might be a tight end by position definition, Mike, but this guy is a bona fide playmaker with the ball in his hands, and we're just seeing this more and more across the league. These guys have such a natural ability to pick up yards after the catch, and, man, it does wonders for an offense when you don't always have to throw the ball far to pick up big gains. Two minutes remain here in this first half. We'll return to Las Vegas after this. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. He'll go right back to Bowers. He's got it again. And he's going to be taken down. That's a gain of 16 yards, and it sets up first and goal. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And Listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. He's got the tight end Mayer. To the goal line and in. Michael Mayer. Touchdown, Vegas. Daniel Carlson on to attempt the extra point. The kick is good. And the Raiders are on the board. It's now 14 to 7. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Cavante Turpin on the return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Cowboys offense and veteran Ezekiel Elliott making their way back out. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Scott. Hooks able to pull that one in. They'll work now on second and four. Throwing is Prescott. Over the middle to his tight end, Ferguson. And he'll be tackled up around the 45-yard line. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple, right? I mean, everyone wants to complicate offensive football and make it super technical. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage, 
as long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not. And when he throws it, catch it. First down, Prescott. That's complete to Elliott. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. No throw again, Dak. This one downfield complete to Cooks. That's a timeout for Dallas. It's their second as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. They'll come up here first and ten. Cooks going in motion. To the air again. Prescott. Now a screen set up for Elliott. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Just a little slow developing on that screen play there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops. And just nowhere for that back to go. Again, Prescott to the air. That's going to wind up incomplete. Not much time remaining. Time for one more snap here in this first half. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. Aubrey's kick is good. And the Cowboys build their cushion to 10. It's now 17 to 7. All right, Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports Studios and our halftime report. And apparently we'll forget about that for the moment and turn our attention to quarter number three. Let's go. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. A return now from the four. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. Another great throw, and that's been the story as you check out these numbers. I mean, he has done everything this team has asked of him and more. run with Elliott and he's brought down after a gain of a couple look him up on a second down and eight here's Dak to throw left side caught by Lamb and they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. Prescott to his main man, Lamb. CD gets the Cowboys a first down. On the give, it's Elliott. They converge on him quickly. He'll only get a couple. Divine Diablo there to make the play. The toss here to Zeke. 
And he'll pick his way forward, a gain of about five. And that's going to set up third down. Dak to throw. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch. But I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Now Prescott. The open man is Tolbert. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Nice chunk here in this good-looking drive. Pickup of 14 and a first down. Now this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays, and these drag routes can be very, very effective. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming, and he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. Second down, Prescott. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. Just can't seem to get anything going on every ensuing snap. They just continue to go backwards and backwards and backwards. We've got to find a way on first and second down to stay ahead of the chains so third down is not so daunting. Third and long. Now, Prescott. A toss out quickly here to Cooks. And they were hoping for a little more on that one. Brought down well short of the first. So it'll bring up fourth down. When a defense has speed to the ball like this group does, it makes these wide receiver screens really challenging because all those fast linebackers and defensive backs that are chasing the ball carrier, the offensive line are the ones responsible for them, and sometimes that's just a speed mismatch, and they can't get out in front. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Tucker. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Raiders' offense ready for their first possession of this second half. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. and gets it from the pistol. Just refusing to go down. He winds up with a gain of seven. Here's second and three to go. They'll stick with Madison. He's going nowhere. Gonna lose yardage on that play. 
This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. Third and five. He'll try and throw with Minshew. This throw right side is caught by Adams. It'll be a pickup of 10. Good for a Raider first down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of they got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. From the 39, here's a first and 10. From the gun, here's Minshew. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. in motion here is Tucker we're gonna go play action now with Minshew in trouble and down he goes with the right personnel the safety position is like the ultimate chess piece right you can put him in center field to play pass you can bring him up and make him a pseudo linebacker but you also can bring him on pressure Mike and that's what this guy does so well the timing and the speed he got there in a hurry Third and long. The shotgun, a throw for Minshew. And that is incomplete. Missed opportunities like these are a big reason why they find themselves down double digits here in the third quarter, Mike. Points on this possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive, but instead, Poor execution, especially in the passing game, and it's another wasted drive. And no run back here. Fair catch taken at the 17-yard line. Set to go now on first and ten. Now give to Zeke out of the gun. And he'll get this only to about the 20. Again, here's Zeke. Room to run at the 35. To the 45. Ezekiel Elliott. A big run. They finally get to him and bring him down. A big play for the Cowboys. 68 yards. That's as dynamic a run as you're going to see. He gets really good initial blocking at the point of the attack. That springs him loose. But then it's just his speed and open field running that does the rest. Now, Elliott. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. Run here, right side with Elliott. He's able to get away from one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. 
So, three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They come to the line needing 11 here on third down. Operating from the gun, here's Dak. This one complete right side. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone, and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through, and they get three. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return here comes Tucker and their drive will begin at the 30 yard line the Raiders offense ready to get back to work they need to start making some inroads here down two scores as they begin this drive with first down In motion is Myers. They'll keep it on the ground. Into the secondary at the 45. And he'll be taken down. They'll gain 17 on that one. A very quick first down. The ability to be effective on first down, Mike, it just makes everything else easier. In the event you do have to face a third down down the road, they're usually a lot more manageable situations, a lot easier to convert. Gonna get that complete. Jacoby Myers. A game there of 11. First down, Vegas. Things certainly look a little improbable right now, Mike, but I wouldn't say impossible. I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points. Good start there. Early completion, but now they've got to get across midfield and go. Every single possession right now is priceless. Points, possessions, and then they got to get some defensive stops. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Give them 10 more on that one. Just enough for another first down. Desperation time now setting here in the fourth quarter. This is where the urgency of your two-minute offense is so critical. How many plays can you run and how fast can you run them because one score is not going to do it. You're going to have to score and get the ball back and end up going down and punching it in again. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page and when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. Here's a second and three forthcoming. To the air once more is Minshew. And that ball's intercepted by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense. You're defending your own goal line. You got to take some chances. You got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. The Cowboys' offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And they're going to hear it from this crowd. They're backed up deep as they start first and 10.
Back near his goal line, Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And a nice game, getting this to about the 23-yard line. 18 yards. A great way to start the drive. It's a first down. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike. How well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, I'm not sure how you guard him. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think. Here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. Now a second down throw for Prescott. A short throw caught by Ferguson. And nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. He's got a receiver, and that's Lamb. And they will finally catch up to him and get him down. A big connection from Dak to CD. 31 yards. Well, I think one thing's for sure, Mike. I don't think we're seeing an offense that is comfortable with this late lead, and they for sure are not letting their foot off the gas. They're continuing to put pressure on the defense and say, hey, I don't care how much we're up by. We're going to continue to execute our passing game, and if there's opportunities downfield, we're going to continue to take them. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Prescott again. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, will lead to some easier and better completions. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. On third down, Prescott. And that is incomplete. But a flag is down back in the backfield. Did they hit the quarterback late? They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Dak. And he'll take it on in. Now, Aubrey for the extra point. He's got it. The Cowboys will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Tucker. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. The Raiders' offense ready to take over possession of the football. 
They'll start out first down and 10. Back is Minshew. He's got it downfield. Myers the connection. And they will bring this into the red zone. Big connection inside the 20. So a big one there to start the drive. Pick up of 46 yards. Minshew out of the pistol here. That is brought in at the 10. And the Raiders are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. These can be tricky situations defensively, right? The game is all but over. Barring something unforeseen, you got this one in the bag. But you still want to finish on a high note. You still want to walk off the field and put an exclamation point on what's pretty much been a dominant performance right from the start. He's trying to drop that one there in a bucket in the back of the end zone, and the pass is just a little too off target. And I promise you, that defender, he wished he could have another crack at that one. Try it again here from the seven-yard line, second down, and goal. To throw once more, here's Minshew. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. You can feel them starting to press a little bit, especially with this passing game. They find themselves so close to the end zone, they got to get it over the goal line. You got to be a little bit more accurate. You got to be a little bit smarter with the ball. And right now, the timing, the spacing, it's just not matching up. They look to throw it with Minshew. And the defense rallies to the ball, brings him down at the five. It's fourth down. What a nice play defensively. It's always a bit of a challenge. How long do I stay in coverage defending my zone or my man? Or how fast do I come up and pursue a scrambling quarterback? They did a nice job rallying to the ball late. They're able to bring him down to force fourth down. And he's going to be taken down. Could not get rid of the football. And they'll turn it over. Stop on fourth and goal. You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense, they're up to the task, and they come through yet again with a huge stop. Here's Dak Prescott, and the Cowboy offense set to go again. And he has been in control. This offense want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards, he has been excellent all game long. Going to run with it himself. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. On the draw, here's Elliott. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no gain. Here's a third down and four. They'll stick with Elliott.
So on fourth down, here comes the veteran, Brian Anger. Back deep, it's Trey Tucker. And he's going to be knocked down before he can even think about returning that one. Whoa! The home team's offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They'll have very good starting field position as they set up past the 40. First and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. That'll be taken in. It's Alexander Madison. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. What an advantage it brings a defense when you have cornerbacks that are such willing tacklers. It just brings an extra element to the ability to defend the entire field. And this is a great example here why. Now the Raiders are going to use the first of their timeouts. And they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Here's second and nine. Throwing is Minshew. Here's a screen set up for Madison. Give him 13 on that screen play. And a first down. All right, Mike, so the way they teach these screen plays to the offensive lineman is you got to stop the defender's feet. You just don't want him to get a free, clean rush to the quarterback because you're so worried about getting out in front of the back. Stop his feet, make him start his rush over again before you slip out. Ball gets dumped right over the rusher's head. Bang, now you're in the open field. And the final throw of the game winds up incomplete. And that will do it. This one comes to an end. So it's a win here for the visiting Cowboys. And it was their defense that led the way as they pitched the shutout in the second half. No points allowed. And they cruise to victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone. <laughs>